Using the Yuzu emulator, it's possible to play Nintendo Switch games in 4K. And in some instances, depending on the power of your hardware, you can even go up to 8K and beyond. In this video, I'll show you how to install and configure the Yuzu emulator. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a graphics comparison between Nintendo Switch and Yuzu. So the first thing you need to do is go to yuzu-emu.org and then when you're on the page, click on the big giant download button. If you haven't already, be sure to download Microsoft Visual C++ 2022. You can do that by clicking this button here. And then once Visual C++ 2022 has downloaded, go to your downloads location and crack it open. Firstly, click on I agree to the license terms and conditions, and then go to install. Once the installation has completed, it will prompt you to restart your machine. Once you've restarted your computer, go back to the same page we left off from, scroll all the way down until we get to the big green button that says download for Windows X64. Once the file's downloaded, open it up to begin the installation. When you first begin the Yuzu installation process, you'll be presented with a few options. If you're a supporter of the Yuzu project and you have a Yuzu account, you can click the Yuzu Early Access tick box and this allows you to test all the latest Yuzu features before they go into general release. But I will leave Yuzu and install options ticked. And then when you're happy to proceed, click the purple install button. Once installation has completed, click on the giant purple exit and launch Yuzu button. When Yuzu first launches, you'll see this pop-up appear. It will say encryption keys are missing. All you need to do is click on the blue button here to find out how you can get those missing keys. That particular step is out of the scope of this video, but the documentation here will show you how to do it. Once you do have those keys, click on OK, and then go to File, and then go to Open Yuzu Folder, and then go to Keys, and then move the key files into this folder, and then close this folder. Okay, so next I'll show you how to configure your control pad. So go to Emulation, go to Configure, and then go to controls. And under connect controller, I've got pro controller selected. And then under input device, I'll change that to Xbox 360 controller because that's what I have connected to my computer. And now I can test the buttons. And they all seem to be working. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll go to OK to confirm. And now I'll show you how to update the graphics settings. So go back to emulation, go to configure, and then go to graphics. Make sure the API is set to Vulkan, and then under device, make sure you've selected the appropriate graphics card. So on my machine, I have a discrete graphics card and an integrated graphics card. So I'll make sure that I've picked the discrete graphics card. And next, I'll go down to resolution. Currently, it's set at the native switch resolution, which is 720p slash 1080p, but I'm going to bump that up to 4K, which is 2160p. Now, depending on the power of your computer and your display resolution, you're actually able to bump that up even higher. But in this video, I'll just do 4K. And next, under the window adapting filter option, I've got bilinear selected. But feel free to try each one of these and see which works best for you. And next, under anti-aliasing method, you'll notice that there is FXAA and SMAA. Now, I find FXAA tends to be a little faster but SMAA tends to be slightly better image quality, but is a bit more demanding on your system. So just for fun, I'll select SMAA and then go to the advanced tab. Under accuracy level, I've got it selected to high. I could choose extreme, but I don't think my computer could handle it, but feel free to give it a try. I've got use VSync enabled and then go to the CPU tab and I've got accuracy set to automatic. And then press OK when you're happy to continue. If you want to add a game to Yuzu, all you need to do is double click that giant yellow folder icon in the middle and then navigate to the location where all your game files are kept. For me personally, I prefer to go to File and then Load File. And then I select the game file I want to play. And then the game file should begin loading. <laughs> 